I thought the debate was excellent. I think both sides had very good points. I think what's interesting is that um, the same data can be viewed in, in many different ways, and what that tells me is that there needs to be more data. It's hype. There's no hope. Why? I admit that I have a, a, a preformed view on the role of focal therapy in men with localized prostate cancer, but I do have an open mind and I'm always prepared to be challenged about my, my preconceptions. Uh, but on this occasion, I'm afraid that uh, Dr. Emberton and co. failed to convince me that focal therapy has found its niche yet for men with localized prostate cancer. It's hard to say who made the best argument. I think when you look at the, the data rather than the argument, and I think that at this point, there's, there are still many questions that remain about focal therapy that aren't adequately answered at this point. I think both sides propagated reasonable arguments, but at the end of the day, I have a lot of uh, anxiety about whether current imaging technologies in particular um, are good enough to risk stratify men. And Dr. Emberton really tried to focus on the argument that what focal therapy is doing is risk stratifying men more precisely using MR in particular uh, to figure out which men truly need treatment and which do not. But I think Dr. Klein on the opposing side very nicely showed that multi-parametric MRI, good and all as it is, value adding as it is, is not good enough to accurately risk stratify men. What we see is 20 to 30 percent of patients with normal MRI scans have clinically significant prostate cancer. And I'm afraid that currently focal therapy relies quite heavily on that type of imaging to select out the dangerous cancers and the truth is it's going to miss a lot of them. Uh, you know, I think prostate cancer is one of the most difficult diseases in urology to know how to treat appropriately. And arguing and, uh, and considering the different options is critical because of that. But what I did take out of it is a reinforcement in my mind that MR itself, and we use MR a lot for early detection of prostate cancer, for helping plan surgery, is also uh, a little bit short of where we need it to be so we can select patients out accurately for treatment. But having said that, I think MR has a very important role to play. It's an evolving technology. We're all improving in how we use it. Uh, and certainly I see it has value. But on the focal therapy side, I'm afraid there are too many other unknowns.